Hi everyone, I'm at the coast and I'm sick. I've uh, been doing a lot of reflection. One thing that's come up, and I think a lot of people don't know this, is that when you are on a health kick, you're changing your diet, changing your habits, what you do each day, exercising, that kind of thing, especially when you start changing your diet, if you already have quite a bad diet, the foods that you eat are covering up emotions that you don't want to feel and limiters that you don't want to feel in your life. So um, it's most commonly spoken about as comfort eating and there's a mechanism chemically for it. It's an inverse relationship with cortisol and insulin. So cortisol is a stress hormone when you get stressed, overwhelmed by things, uh, that's just life and it depends on how well you cope with, with what goes on your, with your life. Um, and that's so the coping. The coping is actually what we're here to learn about, um, to master uh, these kind of things. The stress hormone cortisol, when it rises, insulin decreases. So insulin is the hormone that makes glucose go into your cell. Otherwise, it stays in your blood, and that's one of the problems with diabetes. So if you've got a lot of stress going on, your body's got a lot of cortisol, and your body knows that if you eat that bit of cake that your stress levels will go down because insulin is released more. So insulin goes up, cortisol goes down, just like a seesaw, one goes up, one goes down. And you feel a bit better, uh, for a little while anyway, especially if it's sugar, then you know, the blood, blood glucose will spike really quick and you start to feel flat and low. And you start, start wanting to go for more sugary food too quick. That's uh, uh, one mechanism for this comfort eating and how food covers up um, things in your emotions. Some some foods people go to when they experience different things. If they're a bit depressed, they go towards some other foods, maybe cheese or something like that. Um, it's different for everybody, but just pay attention to what your what foods you go to when you're stressed, worried about things, anxious, depressed, because those foods will be masking some of those emotions. So it helps you kind of feel like oh, I I can cover this feeling up with this food. So when you're going about, you want to lose some weight. Um, one of the things you encounter, you'll start to feel more, potentially more stressed, more anxious, more overwhelmed than usual because you're not using the thing that you normally do to cover up your emotions and the things that you're worried about in your life. So then it's a matter of, okay, let's, um, it's not just a physical thing. If you want to lose weight, it's not physical totally at all, even though uh, people seem to make, make it so. It's mainly emotion that you're dealing with, uh, mental, um, mental thought loops, things that drive you to do certain things habitually. It's a matter of changing uh, a mindset, dealing with emotions in a certain way and, um, and following through physically with um, a certain plan to do with exercise, timing, getting up a bit earlier, go to the gym straight after work and not come home, um, that kind of thing. And, um, and just planning, planning out your diet and making different choices at each meal. And one thing that's very useful to think about when you are dieting is use the straight line principle, which is basically think about what you're about to eat, what you're about to order. Does it take me towards my goal directly or not? Uh, if it's going to be something that adds a lot of sugar or calories or fat into your diet, it's not going to take you to the goal. So that, what other option is there that you can take that will take you more directly to your goal? I hope that helps.